Hello, in this video I will talk about how to use function in MATLAB. Open MATLAB. First we will create uh, a new script file for writing the functions. So uh, for writing a function we start by defining a function by a keyword function then function name suppose we are making a function name by test and then its argument as we are uh, not taking any argument so we will left it blank and we will just display you are inside the function and that's it now after writing the function we will save it and one thing uh, needs uh, one thing needs to remember while saving it like uh, the function file should be saved by the same name as that of the function so our function name was test so this file will be saved by the name test only and then save it now we will uh, come into our main file and in our main file we will uh, <coughs> we will call uh, call that function through main so we will save it through mm, main name one more thing uh, needs to remember that whatever custom function we are defining and uh, the file which is using that function all of them should be in the same folder otherwise uh, matlab will not be able to find the function which you are using inside uh, your main file so we will uh, uh, call the function test that's it and then we will run it it asks for change directory so we will get a display you are inside the function you are inside the function so how it is uh, uh, working as soon as comes it uh, this line test the test function is called and inside test function this command is executed so this is how we uh, write uh, functions uh, in matlab we can also write functions uh, which accept some values and return those values like uh, we can define in that uh, function we can define the argument list of the function like a comma b and then uh, suppose we are displaying the values of a and b a and display b we are displaying the value of a and b and then we are uh, displaying the sum of these values c equals to a plus b and we want to uh, uh, we want to uh, pass this sum the result of the sum to the uh, main function from where we are calling it so we will define the calling sub, uh, calling function here and the arguments here so now we will uh, save this function and then we will call this function from main like 5 comma 3 as this function will return a certain value so we will store that value into b so as soon as we will run it this 5 and 3 and you can see the variable b has been assigned here and it is getting the value of a so when this function is called this 5 and 3 passed to this function here in the value of a and b and then it displays you are inside the function it displays the value of a it displays the value of b then it add them and pass it to the uh, assign this uh, sum to the variable c and then we pass this variable c to the function suppose in some application we want to uh, return back more than one values we can also do that very easily for returning more than one values we will define uh, the vector type like c and d these are the two va two values which will be passed from this function test so c has already be uh, already be assigned we will assign the value d for say by the multiplication of it we have saved it and now after running this command we should get two values 538 and their multiplication so when we will run it still we are getting one value b equals to 5 because we are assigning only 
and the returning value after the returning this test function is returning two values but we are uh, taking only the first value out of it suppose we want to take the both of the values so we have to assign uh, this function value into the two parts a and b and now if we will run it then we will get a variable a the sum value because the first part was uh, returning the sum of these two functions and then the second value b value is getting the multiplication of these two as we were uh, uh, the second argument returning argument of the function was the multiplication Th the same we are getting here we can also uh, call this function uh, from command line as well suppose 3 comma 4 so it is returning only one values answer 7 because uh, uh, in the same way like uh, from uh, from where we are calling uh, we have only one variable to get the values of the function suppose we want to both the values we have to write again in the same way test 3 comma 4 and we'll get two variables a and b a will return sum and b will return the multiplication of this so through this method uh, we can easily define functions in matlab and we can use those functions inside our uh, main program very easily the only thing needs to remember is how many variable we are passing to the functions and how many variables uh, we are returning from the functions and if we want to use all those functions then uh, in the main file where we are using the function we have to define exactly the same number of variables uh, so that each variable can store the each passing argument from the function so that's it for this video thank you